All right, so it's been a minute since I did the update on the YSL trial. Bro, I'm telling you, YSL Woody is playing these folks, bro. It's getting to the point where if this is the best witness y'all got, Young Thug will be home before Christmas. Best believe it. Now, there's this notion, and I think Rich Homie Kwan admitted this like a while back, but I guess they're saying that, I don't know if YSL Woody did it, but they're saying that somebody from the YSL camp has shot Rich Homie Kwan's dad at the barber shop. So this is what YSL Woody said when they asked him about it in court. Bro, if this is your best witness, Young Thug will be home by Christmas. Because he's been playing with them folks ever since this shit started. Yes, no, I don't recall. Did Thug have an issue with Rich Homie Kwan bringing members of If Gang to his apartment? Thug, did you have an issue so with Rich Homie? Just snick away. <laughs> This nigga acts, yo, this nigga's hilarious, bro. I don't know if, he, I mean, maybe this shit is working because maybe he's just going around circles and he's just saying the same thing. Now, they had the old judge before and they tried to, I guess, lock him up or they threatened to lock him up because he wouldn't testify. This new judge, uh, I don't know. I don't know, bro. It, 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 this trial has not been moving at all. We are at the same fucking spot. How long Thug been in jail? Maybe a year, probably. This is the same. We are running around in circles. They're asking him the same question they asked him, what, three, four months ago? Gunna already took the plea, and Gunna's out, and he's not testifying. Why is, uh, what's his name? Not YSL. YFL Lucci ain't testifying. Rich Homie Kwan ain't testifying. This is the only witness that they got in connection of uh, Donovan Nutt's murder. If this is the best witness they got, Thug will be home before Christmas or Thanksgiving. 100%. 100%. percent bring bringing members of If Gang to his apartment. So did you have an issue so what, with Rich Homie? I'm asking you for what you told the police. And I'm and I'm answering you. I just told you several times. I tell the police anything. Okay. Do you recall talking about the shooting at this is, even Young Thug was laughing. That's crazy. He playing them folks. They're gonna dismiss this shit. I think they're going to dismiss this shit. They're going to get they, this. This case is weaker than my last relationship. Thug going to be home. Thug going to be home. Yeah. I ain't never seen it before. Do you see your name on here? Yeah. Yes. Do you see your signature? Okay, so they're trying to bring up the, the 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 fact when he when he when he uh told in the interrogation room. And he signed off. But he already said plenty of times, I was just telling the police anything so I can get out. So all my hood niggas that be robbing, stealing, scamming, shooting up the block, terrorizing the neighborhood. Do y'all consider YSL Woody a snitch? On the back page. Yes. All right, and do you see that date of December 13, 2018? Yes. And does it say plea of guilty for him? This nigga looking up at the sky, nigga. It ain't nothing in the air, nigga. Yes. Okay. Is this the plea of guilty form you filled out when you took the plea to theft by receiving stolen property back in 2018? Can you say it again? Sure. Is this the plea of guilty form that you had to fill out when you took the plea to theft by receiving stolen property in 2018? I guess. All right. I'm also now showing you State Exhibit 402Y. Do you see your name on there? Yes. Okay. Do you see your signature when you signed and date this on August 12, 2013? I see that date. Okay. Did you <laughs> Signature. Oh yes. Did you fill this out when you took your plea in twelve SC one one zero one nine five, which was your enter oh. automobile plea? I guess. I guess is that your signature? 
What? On the second page. I get All right. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm also showing you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 403. Why? Do you see your name on here? Yes. Do you see the petition of bond that you filled out while in jail trying to get a bond? You said I filled it up? Did you write this from the Fulton County Jail? This, I wrote this, but not that. So you didn't write your petition for bond? No, this name in my handwriting. Okay. Well, I'm showing Stacey Exhibit 404 Why? Do you see this letter that she wrote from the Fulton County Jail? Again, this not my handwriting. Okay. Do you see that this was sent by you from the Fulton County Jail? This my handwriting. This is your handwriting, but you didn't write this in this. Okay. Yes. Looking at Stacey Exhibit 401 and 402, you're on the same like this. Admit 401 and 402 Why? It's happening. Admit it. Do you see here on page four, you had to write, are you able to read, write, and understand the English language? You said yes. Yes. All right. Also here in your plea of guilty form, are you able, can you read, write, and understand the English language? You said yes, correct? Right. All right. And that's what you signed and dated, correct? Um, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this thing is crazy, bro. <laughs> Oh shit, this nigga is. Yo, bro, this nigga is. <laughs> and last week, do you remember when Mr. Steele put before you the murder warrants in this case? You were able to read the murder warrants in this case? I don't remember reading that. Okay. Do you remember when Mr. Shar asked you to read that dismissal form that? Um, when your case was dismissed in early this year, that you were able to read that? He read it for me. Do you remember reading it yourself? I, I remember listening to him and agreeing to, because he was reading it for me in front of everybody, so I assumed that what he reading is on him. Is it the only time that you couldn't read when I had to put something in front of you that dealt with thug? Uh, it's a different, like, that's why I just asked, could I explain to you? What would you like? Reading and understanding is different. Like, you putting papers in front of me, like, I'm gonna read that stuff. Okay. So, is your testimony today that you did not read anything last I mean, the most they could possibly do is charge him with tampering. But how long are you going to stay in jail for that? This is supposed to be your star witness to put Young Thug in jail for a very long time. And the fact that. He is not giving it up. Pause. That sound crazy. Is pissing. First of all, is pissing the jurors off that I gotta show up there, and second of all, is pissing off the whole court process because this is supposed to be the star witness. If they had more witnesses, they would have been sent his ass home. But he the only witness they got, and that lets you know that whatever case that they're trying to convict Thug of is fucking weak. So Thug will be home by Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be shocked if they find Thug guilty. They're going to throw this shit out, bro. Last week when Mr. Steele and Mr. Shard gave you documents to read. He said, did I read anything this week? Yes. I don't. I don't. Just looked at the papers. He reading it in front of everybody. So I'm assuming whatever he reading, it got to be on that because he in front of the courts. Okay. Now... That wasn't the only thing that you have not been honest about with this jury now that you testified. Is that fair to say? What you mean? On cross, do you remember Mr. Steele and Mr. Shard asking you about the gang meeting with Mo the day before Nut died? I'm listening. Do you remember them asking you about it? You said, do I remember them asking me about it? Yes. Uh, I guess. And this is the same game meeting that you didn't remember me asking you about it or telling me about it. Do you recall that? You asked me about it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know they tired of this nigga, man. I know they sick of this nigga. You didn't remember it when I asked you about it. I would have been like, mm, doesn't ring a bell. 
Nah, I ain't gonna lie. If I was a juror in this shit, I'd be pissed. Let's we'll see. An answer. Do you remember not recalling that meeting at all when I asked you about it? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what they asked me about about it. Okay. This gang meeting with Mo. Is that the same meeting as you told Detective Thorpe about? Back in 2015. I told you, man, when it came to time to do the tips, I have to tell me anything to get him out of my face. And That's what he going to stick with. That's his story. When them folks grabbed me up, I was just telling them anything so I can go home. And then when he when, when trials start and they ask me these same questions again, I'm going to just go around in circles. I mean, if it end up freeing Young Thug in the long run, then I guess you could say that this nigga is a genius. Tell the truth in the interrogation and lie when you testify. I mean, they might charge you for perjury, maybe. But this is the only witness they got. And he know that he the star witness. That's the reason why he running around in circles. This is the same meeting that you told Detective Dennis and Gaither about. Back in 2015. I guess. I don't know. Okay. And is this the same meeting that occurred after Rich Homie Kwan's car was shot at the studio? Can you say that again? This gang meeting with Mo. Is this the same meeting that occurred after Rich Homie Kwan's car was shot up at the music studio? Was it after? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And is this the same shooting that nut was at that studio as well when Rich Homie Kwan's car got shot up, correct? He ain't, yeah. go, he, he, he ain't gonna admit that part. Hold on, is he gonna admit? I don't think he, gonna, he ain't gonna admit that. Rich Homie Kwan's car got shot up, correct? Yeah, it's them, I don't know. I don't know who's at where, where, I don't know. Now, last week, do you remember saying that that meeting was about you? This gang meeting was about you. Do you remember saying that? Yeah, who I told it to. Mr. Steele and Mr. Sharp. This is the way you ask me the question. You got to ask me the same way they, they ask me. Let me ask you this. <laughs> oh, my God. The meeting. The they got to put this YSL trail in the boondocks. They got to put this YSL trail in the boondocks. The meeting about the gang meeting with Mo. That meeting wasn't just about you, correct? Was it just about me? Yeah, was it just about you? The part I know about. Wasn't this also about Thug? Warren's and Thug discussed at this meeting as well? Was it, what, to my, what they, they brought his name up? Yes. No. Okay. Do you remember telling Investigator Thorpe that this meeting was about you and Thug? I told you. I had to, you keep going to me, when they, when they question me, I was trying to, you know, <laughs> bring him in it. I mean, like. I don't know if he a snitch or not. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Y'all let me know in the comments, but this is like crazy. This is boondocks content worthy. But leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Bruh, if he if, if if he keep going around in circles, they're going to have to throw this shit out eventually. Bruh, niggas is tired of showing up to, to hearing the same story. But I'm out. I'm out.